Hello, I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, we're looking at a news release from Asus because they're talking about releasing the new motherboard, which is the B250 Mining Expert. So the cool thing about this motherboard, among many other features, is that it will support eventually 19 graphics cards. So it has 19 PCI Express slots. Pretty amazing stuff. So let's go through the uh, slides that they've issued and we'll take a look at each one of the uh, unique features from this motherboard. So I made this new discovery from a cool website called WCCF Tech. Uh, go check out their website if you're interested in upcoming hardware. They're, they're very good at and on the ball of getting these uh, news releases before anyone else. So here's a quick look at some of the key features of this motherboard. I'll be focusing on each uh, key feature in a little bit more detail in just a moment, but here the main uh, new features of this motherboard. So it's got a triple ATX uh, power system. So that means that it has three main ATX motherboard type connectors rather than a multitude of Molex connectors. That's a really cool feature. Next up, it's got PCI Express uh, slot state detection. That means that when you're booting the machine, you can see all of your graphics cards, whether they're plugged in or not, prior to getting all the way into the actual operating system. So that's another cool feature. It's also got a designed BIOS, particularly for mining. And it's also got voltage stabilization capacitors. So you remember on a lot of the um, USB type riser cables, uh, one of the key features that they introduced was um, voltage regulation capacitors. So this has got them built onto the motherboard. So that's a cool feature. Um, Asus are attacking this quite hard and they're really um, sh trying to make a, a show of the other competitors in this space. Uh, they're focusing on the, you know, the unique benefits of this motherboard, which is the money saving features, the higher hash rate and the faster return on your investment. So let's go through some of these features in more detail now. Asus has released this motherboard or due to release this motherboard and I'll come on to the date soon. But they're saying that it's got 19 PCI Express slots, which is capable of supporting 19 uh, graphics cards in the future. At the moment, they're really uh, just saying that it's really only for 16 GPUs, uh, eight for AMD and eight for Nvidia. And what they're saying is that um, come on later on in the year, late 2017, uh, the manufacturers will release improved drivers that will support a higher number of graphics cards. So this really only applies to Windows because at the moment we can already use um, Linux-based operating systems such as Ubuntu or Simple Mining OS, and that supports, uh, I'm not too sure what the maximum number is, but I know at present I'm currently using 13 AMD graphics cards. So on that basis, um, I think by the time that this motherboard is released, we should be able to use 19 graphics cards, probably pretty much straight away, I expect. So here Asus are showing a couple of different options for the graphics cards configurations. So what they're saying is that if you want to run up to uh, 13 graphics cards, you can use five of one brand, so five of Nvidia and eight of AMD or vice versa. If you want to go higher than that, you can run a maximum of eight Nvidia and eight AMD. But we know from experience that if we use um, simplemining.net or Ubuntu, we can use some um, higher configurations of um, cards. So they're saying if you want to run 17 to 19, you can run 8 AMD and in principle 9 to 11 once AMD releases the driver. So really they're talking about when AMD released updated drivers for Windows and then you're going to be able to use the full 19 graphics cards. Here we have the specification for the Asus B250 Mining Expert. So it's a socket 1151, so that means it supports the latest 6th and 7th generation Intel processors. The chipset is an Intel B250. It supports DDR4 RAM, uh, that's got two slots on board. It has one 16 times PCI Express connector and 18 one times PCI Express connectors. Everything else is pretty much standard across the board. Obviously you've got integrated uh, ethernet, sound controller, USB free ports, uh, and, the, and the rest of it is all pretty much um, standard. So I won't cover those in any uh, great detail. Taking a look now at the product overview. Focusing on the right hand side, the motherboard, you can better see the layout now of the 19 PCI Express slots. And you'll also notice the three ATX power connectors. So they're labeled A, B, and C red, blue, and yellow. And these kind of also correspond with uh, kind of powering the channels for each one of the, the PCI Express connectors. So you can see they're kind of color coded. 
So you've got the red as the sort of the top uh, core components uh, linked to the primary uh, ATX power supply there. So that gives you a better understanding of how the power distribution works. Um, but I'll come on to that in a little bit more detail in this uh, next part. Asus have added on a new feature to this motherboard, something that no one else has done in this space. And that is to add on a ATX power connector for each one of the PCI groups. So on a lot of previous motherboards, you would have just had a one times or one single ATX power connector and then some additional Molex uh, power connectors. But what Asus have done is added a dedicated full size 24 pin ATX connector for each uh, mining group, so that supports up to seven GPUs. The idea is that it provides a more stable power su supply and reduces the risk of uh, damage to your GPUs. So that's a really cool and unique feature. You'll also notice as well, if you look at the A color groups, the A, B, and C, where the PCI Express connectors are, you can also see that they have Molex power connectors uh, in addition as well. So I'm presuming that they are also gonna be need to, to connect it. One thing I'm curious at this point is that if they are going to be, or each one of those Molex connectors are going to be connected to the primary power supply, or is each one going to be connected to its own independent power supply? I guess independent, but um, that'll be something that needs to be confirmed. Here we have one of my favorite features of this motherboard, apart from the fact that it supports um, up to 19 graphics cards, and that is the PCI Express slot state detection, they are called it. So what this means is that when you plug in your graphics cards and you first boot up the machine, you'll go through the BIOS uh, power on self-test. But at that point, it will show you the graphics cards that are plugged in via a nice kind of uh, interface. It's gonna show you which ones are working, which ones are on error, and which do not have any graphics cards plugged into them. So that's really useful for fault finding. Um, it will mean that you can detect any potential problem cards or cables or risers before you get into the operating system. So that's gonna save you a lot of time in uh, testing and tweaking. So I think this is a really useful feature that you can see all of your connected cards right at the, the power on rather than waiting you know, until you get into the operating system. So I think this is a really cool, unique feature, um, one that I really like. Voltage stabilization capacitors. This motherboard has 19 of them, one for each of the PCI Express ports. So previously we've often seen these uh, capacitors added to risers and they're to help protect your graphics cards in the event that the power supply provides any sort of unstable uh, voltages or power to your graphics cards. So having these directly on board is gonna help keep your cards safe. B250 Mining Expert has mining mode enabled by default in the BIOS. So it's gonna have the option of this performance mining BIOS, or you can have just a stock uh, BIOS ready for general usage. At this point, it's not very clear uh, what features or performance benefits the BIOS might provide. At the moment, all that we know is that it has the option to, to turn off the PCI Express um, slot detection. Um, but other than that, we can't really confirm what other features it might bring in the future. So we'll have to look out for that one and see if they can do something with the BIOS that helps with the performance increase. I think really it's probably just gonna be providing some uh, power up options, booting options, rather than performance uh, improvements. That, that's what I kind of um, expect to see. Aces are coming into this motherboard mining arena quite aggressively because not only are they saying this is our new motherboard with all these cool features, they're also promoting the product as a direct competitor to other products that are out there. So what they're saying is uh, use our motherboard, it's gonna be saving you money, it's gonna get you higher hash rates and it's also gonna get you a faster return. So you can see on this slide, it's it's really making a, almost a direct comparison to, they don't call out the, the motherboard uh, manufacturers, but they're saying the competitor's mining board um, will only support 12 GPUs. Use R1 uh, because you're gonna use um, less resources, less money, and you're gonna get a higher return. So they're saying in this uh, slide here, Going to get better money saving, which is using only one CPU. You're going to get more GPUs. You're only going to be using one SSD and also less uh, RAM. Uh, power supplies is is consistent throughout. They also say that if you use their motherboard, you're going to be getting higher hash rates. Uh, really, you're not going to get any advantage in terms of the hash rate performance. It's really more dependent on how many GPUs you've got per motherboard. So what they're saying is that. This uh, motherboard will eventually support up to 19 graphics cards. 
and if you run all of them you can get a hash rate of over 400 mega hashes. Um, I've done a quick calculation and that's based on a hash rate for each individual card of 21.42 mega hashes, um, which is quite on the low end because many graphics cards will hash easily over 25 mega hashes, some even up to as high as 30 and and in extreme cases above that. So this motherboard, if you had the 419 uh, graphics cards on there and those high performance graphics cards with uh, supported ancillary devices, you could easily go uh, well over 500 mega hashes. So that would be uh, something quite cool to see. In this slide here, they're showing the performance increase and the better return on your investment. So again, what they're saying is that with uh, 19 GPUs versus say 16 cards or 12 cards, you're gonna be spending less of each dollar to get a higher mega hash performance. And really that's one of the things that kind of come down to at the end of the day to get your best uh, return. If you're spending less capital, less electricity, you're gonna get a faster return. And with 19 GPUs on one motherboard, um, that would certainly help uh, you to, to get a faster return. Here we can see the production schedule. So let's talk about the release date and also the pricing for this uh, product. They're saying that they're gonna be releasing samples uh, towards the end of this month, August, and then production is also gonna start around the same time. So I would expect that we start seeing these motherboards show up in drips and drabs, first of all, uh, probably throughout the month of September. And then I expect probably main production or uh, a massive retail release will be around the October period of time. I've read some reports online and we're looking at a pricing of 130 US dollars per unit. So just a few product shots for you now as we come towards the end of this video. Here you can see the beautiful black layout of this motherboard. It's really classy, stylish, but most importantly, it is a functional motherboard. At the back, you can see those free ATX 24 pin connectors. You can see the arrays of the PCI Express connectors all 18 of the one times connectors and the 16 times connectors there. We've got the extra Molex power connectors. It's um, a great looking board and um, I'm really looking forward to using this uh, as soon as I get my hands on one. Um, hopefully I can uh, make the arrangements for that. Towards the back, you've got the IO shield. Uh, you've got the standard options, USB free, HDMI, PS2 motherboard support, uh, also ethernet connector and uh, integrated audio. I don't imagine many people would be using the audio functions. And from a top-down uh, perspective, again, you can see those arrays of PCI Express connectors. Uh, it also looks to be, I can't quite see in the detail, but they look to be numbered as well, which could be useful for fault finding and tracking exactly uh, what GPUs are plugged into which sockets. And then obviously using that PCI Express, uh, sorry, using that uh, wires function, which is the uh, yeah the PCI Express detector. Um, hopefully that can help you identify exactly what GPUs are plugged in where, and again help you uh, get your rig up and running fast as possible with the minimum of fuss. So it's a great looking board, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing this in the future. Right, so that's it for this video. I certainly hope you've enjoyed watching. I've enjoyed making this video for you guys, uh, covering all the features of this brand new upcoming motherboard, the Asus B250 Mining Expert. The world's first motherboard with 19 GPU slots. So look out for this. Um, I'll try and get my hands on one and we'll do an upcoming uh, video at some point in the near future. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put those in the comments area below. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments and I'll try and improve on future videos. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe. Um, I put out content like this on a regular basis and it'd be great to have you as part of our mining community. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.